The market for space exploration has moved from the traditional large and expensive satellite to the use of a network of small satellites because of their potential for providing a better resolution of a target and a more comprehensive observation of the Earth. They are also cheaper, they have faster time to market, and are easier to deploy. Distinguished invited guests, the focus of my presentation is on small satellite communication systems design for inter-satellite communication. Due to the tiny size of small satellites, there is a limit or bound on the amount of electronics we can carry on board the satellite. In other words, we are constrained by the size, weight, and power of the electronics we can carry on board the satellite. In this work, we propose an LED-based visible light communication system for inter-satellite communication. Our motivation for using LEDs or light emitting diodes is due to their small size, lightweight, low power requirement, in a long lifespan, low cost, as well as the simplicity of the design. Unfortunately, by using LEDs, we create another problem, which is this. Both an LED and the sun emit visible light. So how can the receiver of our system distinguish between the light coming from the LED, which is carrying our data of interest, and sunlight? To mitigate this challenge, we propose an innovative design approach where data is transmitted along Frauenhofer lines only. Frauenhofer lines are a set of frequencies along which the intensity of the sun is negligible or less than 10% of their normal value. The preliminary results of this research work produced yielded a data rate of about 0.5 megabit per second for a link distance of one kilometer. These results have already been presented at two international conferences in Malta and Germany. This work is highly significant by virtue of the use of VLC. It is applicable for tactical military communications. It can also be used in sensitive environments like in hospital operating theaters where radio frequency interference can affect sensitive electronics. It is applicable also in hazardous environments like nuclear power plants where the ignition of radio frequency sparks can you know, cause a problem. Thank you.